Hey everybody, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video here on Jacob's Aquarium. Hope you guys are doing good and hope your tanks are doing good as well. I'm having a fantastic day out here in Jacob's Aquarium HQ, taking care of all of these gorgeous and amazing plants that I have in my over a thousand gallon aquatic plant system. But today, today, I wanted to discuss a plant that I think is the most beautiful plant in the aquarium hobby. In my opinion, keyword, my opinion. The plant that I'm talking about is called Nasea Golden. I've been selling this plant on my website for about two to three years now, and it has been a hit. So today in this video, I thought I would talk about Nasea Golden and give you guys some helpful tips on how to grow this plant as well and give you some close up aquatic plant pornography shots of this amazing gorgeous plant all right so i'm gonna pull some uh some to say a golden out of my pond right here sorry guys gotta break your roots i know it hurts but i gotta show these fantastic people that watch my videos all right tons of sand and God, look at these roots look at those roots damn damn girl you got a big root going on holy crap okay so gonna just shake it off shake it off shake it off this is nasea golden look at this plant isn't it beautiful so nasea golden has well golden leaves golden colored dirt it has a gold color to the leaves and even sometimes the leaves appear a light goldish pinkish yellowish almost like real 24 karat gold 24 karat magic in the air and the other thing that i like in regards to the color about nasea golden is the red stems look at the red stems so you get this golden color on the leaves but you also get these gorgeous red stems in the middle this plant is just a color matching you know combination of colors it's almost like this plant was really interested in fashion and decided you know what i'm gonna match i'm gonna match my colors i'm not gonna be one of these these people walking out over here in the walmart or something with you know green and black and all these weird different colors going on no he's like i'm going to dress appropriately and i am going to match my colors so that's what he did again check out these roots guys the pond that i grow my plants in is injected with co2 has tons of nutrients tons of gorgeous sunlight as you can see so the plants develop really really quickly so yeah nasea golden beautiful plant these ones in particular are very very well developed so if you'd like to buy some this is what you can expect right now a lot of people ask me they're like Jacob, um, can you guarantee that the plants that you sell are gonna look like the ones in your videos? And a lot of the times I have to say no because I get so many in different states, different growth states, and they sell out so quickly. And I can't you know, promise a certain type or specific one for each one. But if you're watching this video right now and the Saya Golden is in stock, that's what you can really expect if you buy whatever is in stock right now, okay? That's the, le that's the most I can do is when I make these videos is to upload them the same day, obviously, so the timing is right. And that should point you in the right direction if you want plants that look exactly like the one that you're seeing in this video, okay? Now, let's talk about the sort of difficult side of Nasea Golden. Nasea Golden loves CO2, loves fertilizer, loves highlights, loves nutrient-rich substrates, so, if you're not somebody that can provide it with all of that, I would say pass on this plant because you will be disappointed when, you're, when you don't get the results that you know, you've know you seen in this video that I've gotten with it, okay? Uh, here's the thing though, here's the thing. A lot of people are shocked that in my pond, I use sand to grow my plants. Sand is my substrate. A lot of people are shocked by that but it's not impossible to make sand work. As you've seen, the say golden is growing in sand. You just have to compensate for that loss of nutrients. So, uh, dosing nutrients in your water column, as they say, the water column, scientific you know, stuff. Uh, <laughs> dosing liquid nutrients in your aquarium, I should just say that. Um, highlight, CO2, um, that will help it along. 
not necessarily do you need nutrient rich substrate but it's definitely if, if you can provide it with that if you're setting up a planet tank and it's it's well within your budget do it okay the only reason why i don't is because i cannot use i cannot use aquatic plant substrate in this pond because i'm constantly ripping plants out of the substrate and if i used ada soil for example it would be a mess my pond would constantly be, be dirty and and cloudy it would just it's not possible okay so it's definitely possible to make sand work in an aquarium pond whatever with aquatic plants but it's not really preferred okay um keep that in mind okay because I, I know people are going to see and they're gonna be like well you're growing your plants to sand why can't i do it you can but is it is it is it really the right way to grow aquatic plants no but it's possible people may disagree with me there, there's going to be somebody that's going to comment, well, I grew this plant in a goldfish only tank and uh, I, I only have a gravel substrate and a T8 light that I bought in 1992. And, uh, you know, this plant's growing great for me. So you're wrong, Mr. Castro. Okay, Rob. Well, you know, uh, if, if you've achieved that with this plant, congratulations, okay? Congratu aquatic -lations. But as for me, that's what I recommend to you guys. CO2, nutrient-rich substrate, highlight nutrients. Very, very important with this plant. But yes, in my opinion, and I've grown so many plants over the years, so many, in my opinion, Nasea Golden is, without a doubt, the most beautiful plant in the aquarium hobby. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to check me out on social media. All my social media links are in the description below. And also a little quick short announcement, short, short announcement. Oh my God, I almost fell. Um, I am doing my live shows again. <laughs> you guys may be like, didn't you start doing your live shows again like five years ago? Like what is going on? Make up your mind. Okay, well, yeah, I know. Um, life has just gotten in the way, okay? But I'm doing my live shows again and I'm gonna have guests on my live show and I'm gonna answer your questions and it's gonna be so much fun. So. I don't have a set schedule, but I'm going to do live shows at least twice a week. Okay, I already have some pre-recorded versions of the live show that I've done on um, on my channel. And here's the thing, it's no longer called the live show. It's called the aquatic show. The aquatic show. And I called it the aquatic show because we're going to talk about all things aquatic. Fish, plants, aquariums, ponds, sump filters, aquaponics, hydroponics. We are going to talk about things that involve water. I love you guys so much. Again, don't forget to check me out on social media. And if you're in the market for aquarium plants, visit jacobsaquarium.com where I have almost 100 different species of aquatic plants to choose from, all at the most affordable price. That's jacobsaquarium.com. Have a great day, everybody. I love you guys so much. Have fun with your tanks, and I'll see you next time.